www.rochellearthurs.com And welcome to my Logic Pro X tutorial. Today I'm going to show you some more hints and tips in vocal recording. So the first thing I want to show you is how to create a count in. Basically what that means is um, if you're in a studio and you need time to get to your microphone before you start recording yourself, um, you may want to use a count in method. The count in button is located at the top here where it says one, two, three, four. If you select that, that will automatically um, designate some time for you to then record. So if we go to now to record at the top of the bar here and you see count in, it's already defaulted to two bars before the system will start recording your vocals or even your music in this instance. So in this instance, we're just going to change it to four bars. Now what that means is now if I press the record button, which I'll do now, you'll notice that the recording won't start straight away. Watch. So as you can see, the recording started after four bars. Now, depending on where your microphone is located in your studio or, or, or if you're recording by yourself, this is a really useful tool to allow you time to get to your microphone before you start recording. Another thing that you can do also, if, if you want to just record a certain section in the song, so um, say you want to record from bar 41 on this in, in this instance, you'll move the bar to bar 41 and then you would then select record again and if you noticed it jumped back to 37 but it's not going to start recording until it reaches 41 watch so that's another good tip for you when you want to um, allow yourself time to get to a microphone to record Right, so in my Logic Pro X part three tutorial, I showed you how to edit vocals. The way I showed you was quite a lengthy way. However, it gave you a chance to start to learn about the areas of Logic, the track windows, the library, and all the other tools that are useful for vocal recording. What I'm going to show you today is called comping. This is a great feature in Logic Pro X and will save you a lot of time when trying to perfect your vocals. So what I'm going to do now is sing three lines over again so that I can show you how you can edit your takes. So the first thing you need to do is set up a cycle range. Um, if you press the letter C on your keyboard, that is a shortcut key for the cycle mode. As you can see, it's appeared up here. I'm actually going to record, I want to record from here to about there. It's, I'm going to sing three lines over again just for the sake of this tutorial. So bear with me while I sing these three lines over. So I'm going to press the R button to uh, record my vocals. I've just muted the vocal, the original vocal track underneath so you don't have to hear it. It's over, it's over, I can't believe it's over, I found myself in pain. It's over, it's over, I can't believe it's over. It's over, it's over. I can't believe it's over. Once you finish, you just press the space bar, right? Let's hear this play back now. <laughs> Basically, I've sang the lines over and over again three times over, and now I'm going to show you how to comp your vocals. The first thing you need to do is turn off the cycle mode. So press the letter C on your keyboard, which is a shortcut key, and that will turn it off. Then you would want to press Command and U together on your keyboard 
and that will set the locators for the section that you've just recorded as you can see. The next thing you want to do is maybe zoom in a bit so you can either press the letter Z and that will zoom in. Right so now that we've got our takes recorded let's have a listen to how that sounds. I'm going to play them through my monitors so hopefully it should play clearly. I'm going to play each section first and I'm going to choose in my mind <laughs> as we go along what sections I like the most. So if I'm listening to that, I can already see where, what bits I like and what bits I don't like. So what we're going to do is open up the colour palette. To do that, you press Option and C on your keyboard. Um, if it doesn't appear, make sure you've clicked into the track area here, first of all. And we're going to define each track by colour. So take one, if you click on take one, we're going to choose yellow. Take two, I'm going to use this green, and take three, I'm going to select turquoise. So out of all these tracks, to be honest, all I liked was um, track two and three. So I'm not actually gonna use anything on track one. So if you click on track two, I liked the beginning of track two, and um, but I didn't like the second and third bit. So what we're going to do is just select the beginning of that track. So what you need to do is click on track two and drag your mouse to the left and that will highlight just the beginning of track one. Um, and I also would do it to the right here. Then we're going to select track three and it will automatically select what's left. But I'm going to just drag the end bit in. So what I've done effectively is just taken a bit from track two and a bit from track three, but not taken anything from track one because I didn't really like it because it was too low. Um, and we can also move, um, edit it even more or edit in the top section. What I will say is that you'll probably notice that there's a fade section here. This is what happens when you use a comping tool. It will create a fade in between each section, which is a good thing because it will stop any sort of clipping sounds appearing in the middle of your vocals. Once you've selected the areas that you like in the song, what you would need to do is take your mouse up into where the A is, select the A, and then select flatten. What I've done effectively is literally just taken the sections that I wanted and Logic has put it into one track. And remember what I taught you before, although you can see it's got a fade in between here, you can join your tracks. So if you select control, click, and then join, you will see this will come up, press create, and now your track's gone into one, your two tracks have gone into one track, which is here. So let's listen to that back now. It's over. As you can see, all we've done is just comped the vocals in a very quick way. So just to remember, start off by using the count in method to give you enough time if you're not near your microphone before you start recording. Also select the color palette if you want to um, make sure you can know what sections you've taken from each track. Definitely a useful tool to use. Um, make sure you also turn on the cycle mode when you're recording your takes and press C again to turn it back off on your keyboard and press command plus U to make the locators appear and match the selected take folders and at the end of that press the three dots that I showed you that appears on the main take and select flatten and then this will appear and then to join the tracks press control click and select join and create. And there you have it. That is how you comp. It's really simple 
and a quick way of editing your vocals. If you check on my website and my YouTube channel on every Wednesday, you will see that I've uploaded a video. I'm also going to start creating um, PDF documents to go along with the tutorials to help people so they can download anything I've taught them in the tutorial. So if you go to my website every Wednesday, there should be a link as to where you can download the PDF document where I've written up what I've taught you in this lesson. Also, please ensure that you join my mailing list via my website, which is www.michellearthers.com to make sure that you're always updated with the latest information on my Logic Pro X tutorials. Also, I have some Logic Pro X quizzes that you might want to use um, just to see how your skills are coming uh, along. And if you have any queries or questions, by all means, as always, just send me a message. Thank you.